To get started, go to atlas.ai.umich.edu. Once on Atlas, click the Schedule Builder link in the top right corner of the page. At the next screen, select the academic term you want to build a schedule for. Once you select the term, click Create New Schedule. A calendar will now expand below where you can build your schedule. To start adding courses to the schedule, click the search box titled Add Courses. Type in the name of the course you want to add and click it to add it. You'll see that the course has now been added to your schedule. If there are multiple sections of this course, the lowest section number will be added to your schedule by default. At the top of the course card, you can click the hyperlinked course number to go to the course's profile on Atlas. Below the course number, you'll see the title of the course, number of credits, the class type and section number, the class time, the days the class occurs on, and the location for the class. Next, you'll see the hyperlinked instructor name, which you can click to go to their Atlas profile. Below the instructor's name, you'll see an indicator that tells you the course's status. Next to that is the number of open seats in the course. If you'd like to see alternate times the course is offered, click the left and right buttons at the bottom of the course card to view the other options. If you'd like to see all of the course sections at once, click the Section Options button. At the window that pops up, uncheck the default selections and scroll through the other options. You'll notice that class times that conflict with the class that's already in your schedule will be marked here as a time conflict. When you find one you like, you can click the checkbox to select that option and then hit the Update Schedule button to add it to your schedule. If you've saved courses or collections of courses in Atlas, you can automatically bring those into your schedule. Click Add Saved Course or Add Course Collection to select them and add them to your schedule. You can also add a break to your schedule, for example, for lunch or work. Click Add Break and enter the details, then click Add Break. You'll now see it showing up on your calendar. Schedule Builder can also automatically generate alternate schedules for you. To see alternate schedules with the classes you're currently viewing, click the Generate Schedule Options button, then click Show Options. You can then click right and left through the alternate options and you'll see the schedule changing. Schedule Builder will only show you automatically generated schedules that don't conflict with breaks you've placed in the schedule. If you're satisfied with one of your selections and want to make sure it doesn't get changed when generating automatic schedules, click the lock icon next to it. You'll see that it's now displayed as locked on your schedule. If you'd like to name the schedule you've created, you can enter a name under Schedule Name and hit Enter. You can click between the different schedules you've created in the section marked Schedules. Once you have a schedule you're happy with and are ready to register, you can click Send Schedule to Backpack to send the courses in your schedule to your backpack in Wolverine Access. A window will pop up showing you the courses you're about to send to your backpack. Click Send to Backpack to finish sending them to your backpack. Once you see the confirmation that your courses have been successfully saved to your backpack, click Go to Wolverine Access. At the Wolverine Access screen, select the term you want to backpack for and click Continue. At the next screen, you'll see a message telling you that you have classes pending import from the Schedule Builder. Press Import Schedule to finish importing the courses you sent from the Schedule Builder. You'll now be prompted to confirm your addition of each course, including whether you want to override any time conflict and what grading method you're selecting. Once you finish confirming the details, you'll be taken back to your backpack page, and you'll see a message that all the classes have been imported from the Schedule Builder. You can go back to Schedule Builder at any time to do more scheduling, and can follow the same process we just walked through to send new courses you've scheduled to your backpack. When you do send to backpack again, only new courses in your schedule will be sent to Wolverine Access. Courses that are already in your backpack won't be imported again. This concludes the walkthrough video for the Atlas Schedule Builder. If you have any questions or need support, please reach out to us at atlas-support at umich.edu.